What's up, Taurus? This is you guys' bonus. This is Evolving Wisdom. Yes, I'm here. And I'm still evolving. All right, you guys. I wanted to jump in and just, you know, I was feeling in the mood. So I was like, let me go ahead and get you guys' bonus out the way. But I'm going to make it more of a spiritual bonus, okay? Just the messages from the ancestors and um, the energy that needs to be brung forth so you guys maybe can get a little a more better understanding of what is to come for you guys what needs to be done and um yeah so i'm kind of freestyling but i'm just gonna let the the card speak here this is more of a spiritual it's not really focused on anything unless i get a message that comes through so okay but i'm gonna be reading from the books i usually don't play with these cards a lot unless i'm channeling the ancestors so this is gonna be freestyle y'all so all right, Taurus, let's see what's going on here. Okay, what do my Taurus need to know? What do my Taurus need to know? Ooh. Okay, what do my Taurus need to know? I feel a lot of abundance coming for you, Tauruses. I do. I do. I feel a lot of financial abundance here we had the first card that popped out was the summer card if you know um honeybees um represent money and i don't know if this is a honeybee or not but i'm, I'm picking up honeybee so it represents money um fertility birth financial birth okay Okay. Some of you guys may be feeling alone spiritually or feeling like, you know, uh, worried about being under attack. I don't feel like you guys need to worry. Some of you guys don't need to worry about that here. Okay. But let's get the summer. Give me some time, you guys, to look up these. Uh, okay. Okay. So then you guys got the summer. It says bask in joy and light here. It says, rise up, open your wings, and shine, Taurus. Bring your projects and plans out into the light, into manifestation. Let's go, Taurus. This is your year. Earth signs, period. This is your year. Money, money, manifestation. And yes, I speak about money a lot because that's what most of my energy is focused on. Dark energy, money, balance with family and, and all of the above. But you guys, there's a lot of financial abundance. We are in the 3D realm. We need money to live. That's what the 3D realm is about. It's about um, material things. It's about um, living like a king or a queen and, you know, enjoyment of the, um, I mean, that's what, Taurus is, that's what we are. We are about luxury and all the five senses, you know, smell, taste, beauty. Okay, we need, we need finances to manifest those things into our life, exactly what we want. Okay, whether, even if you don't like the material things or whatever, you still want to live comfortable. Whether your bank account good, your stocks, whatever. You want to you wanna see your dreams manifest through your hard work. And a lot of times that comes with great finances. Tauruses have nothing, they have, they are not ashamed to work hard, okay? We'll put in that word, okay? But it says summer, okay, let's go to the extent. It says, this is the perfect opportunity for, opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So you guys been working hard, and that's why I was telling you guys in the reading I just got done doing for you guys, which is uploaded now, okay, is that we need to take breaks. Also, Tauruses, we can work, we can be very work, um, hard workers, and sometimes we don't like to take breaks. Um, but I need to take a break myself so I can recharge myself. But it says, light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving to you, allowing you to know exactly what you are and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestors guide are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush for it because this is a time for pleasure enjoyment and expansion there is great chance that you have extra energy creativity and inspiration at the time notice what is coming to you as an inspiration directly from the divine okay so this is just letting you know like just take your time there's no need to rush your pride your progress enjoy 
enjoy the fruits of your labor and also enjoy the, the progress that you are doing. Like be in that moment like, wow, I am doing this. I am manifesting this in my life because I am doing this myself. I am putting it in the hard work. This is my mind and this is, these are my dreams that I am actually putting forth and doing. Be in that moment. Okay, don't, there's no need to, oh, I need to hurry up and get this. I need to have this. I need to have that. You know what I mean? Okay, so they said, this is, you guys got the, the guardian angel here. Like, y'all ancestors are strong around, strongly around you guys here. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Guardian angel. Okay, so this one says, watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones that they're, they are close to you or they are close by you, okay? Remember, they are working hard to guide you. So for whoever this is, once again, as I said in my other, um, my reading with you guys, your love, mid-love reading, which is up now, so go check that out if you guys have it. Um, don't entertain old cycles of energies coming back around. Okay, I feel like that again. But they want they are sending you um your your ancestors are really strongly around you guys. Okay, they just they're not playing with you guys, they're not playing with the bullshit from you all anymore. Okay, they are like really on you. Okay, it says everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So no. That you are never alone and never be and never will be alone. Okay? You are not alone. Some of you guys may be feeling like you're alone. You're not. Okay? So know that you are never alone and, and, and will never be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and there is here and is here to aid you in all your endeavors. So stop worrying. You, they, you are, a lot of you guys are highly protected here. Okay, so this one is the trader. Exchange energy, energy to create abundance. Okay, so let's see here. The trader, trader. Okay, make connection and exchange information. Talents or support. So some of you guys may be need to be more open to receiving certain people coming in to help you. Okay. Some of you guys don't trust people easily. I know I don't. So I, I get it. But um, if you trust your ancestors and you, you listen to your intuition, there is energies people coming in to help you. Okay. The universe operates under the law of cause and effect and always looking to return to a natural state of balance. So... If you are lacking in the feelings of abundance at this time, you are being invited to share your time, your gifts, and your understanding with others. And I've been more led to do that, and I have been trying to do that a little bit more with certain clients of mine. It's not all, but it's certain energy that my ancestors let me know to give. Some, some of you know, some of my clients, you know, you guys, I be feeling like who, um, and I tell you, usually tell you this, some of you guys, I have met you guys before in another lifetime. And I usually feel very drawn to certain, especially my, some, especially my Gemini's. Some of my Earth energies, okay. But there's like, there's just certain, and it's been a, um, a few of my Aries energy. I feel like I've known you before. I feel like I've known you or helped you out before. It's not my first time. <laughs> and I would help. I would help put a lot of more energy into your life and guide you more. Okay, but it says you if if you're frustrated frust, frustrated because something is unfolding in your life, instead of asking yourself what you can get, ask yourself what you can give. The exchange of energy doesn't necessarily mean financial energy. You don't oh, look. I don't play that. Okay. You don't have to give out money. Uh, like sometimes it's, it's knowledge is more more abundance than money okay you can you can bless somebody through your knowledge okay it can also be about supporting in order to feel supported if you've been holding back with your offerings now is the time to check to change that allow yourself to be open honest and vulnerable 
the, this can prepare you to open up to even greater opportunities in the coming days, weeks, and, and months. Okay? That's the Taurus energy. A lot of people don't really get that. We are not very open. A lot of times, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot of um, bullshit and betrayal and things of that. So we can be very secretive. We can be very, um, my knowledge is for my knowledge and everything. But there, some of you guys are very high priestess energies. And you are made, you are here to help give knowledge to certain energies. Okay? So they're saying, open up a little bit. It's going to put you on a path where you can receive the abundance or you can receive more of your life path and your life purpose through you giving and um showing the the universe you are ready you are ready being vulnerable okay all right but let's see what else here i want to give you guys i want to get keep going here okay taurus I feel a lot. Of, I feel like a lot of you guys have been feeling alone in this all here. Feeling alone in a lot of this energy here. You're not okay. A lot of you guys got a lot of help around you guys. People that's there to help you. And it, you know, if you guys are a client of mine and everything, you know, I love all of you guys. I love all of my clients. You guys are very special, especially a lot of you guys that I talk to almost every day okay you guys i love all of you guys and you know i feel like you were wrong in my life and i'm also was wrong in your life for a reason until that time comes i will be there as much as i possibly i can for you guys okay so like i said you know i'm not going to be the only person that comes into your life but there's going to be others that come in that can also help guide you okay let's see what are my tours what message do you have for my tours my beautiful bulls my beautiful bulls okay Let's get one more card for my Tauruses. Okay, crystals. Okay, so this is, I feel like a lot of you guys need to um, get, you know, get more involved with crystals here. You guys be careful with the crystals that you're getting. Don't get crystals because you hear somebody on YouTube say, get this crystal. Make sure you, you go into a crystal shop or you go to certain, um, I know right now you can't do that, but make sure you guys are attracted to the crystal. Okay, every crystal is not made equally to everybody. Okay, a lot of you know a lot of people be saying, oh, get an amethyst. And if, look, that may not be resonating with your energy at that moment. Okay, you need to get crystals that you, when you see it, you're like, damn, that crystal is beautiful. It's call, it's almost like a call. It's like it's calling you. Okay, and then you guys got water here. Okay, let let, let me look at that one. You guys need to flow with water or flow with, with things here. Okay. Step away from victim tendencies, Taurus. Don't let past hurts affect your future. And I was just telling Scorpios this, like take responsibility. Okay, you are gifted with the natural impact, impact and sensitivity. Tap into the sources of deep-seated emotions, cleansing, forgiveness, and new psych awareness washes over you. Okay, a lot of deep-seated emotions going on from past. Okay, some of you guys just look. And I was telling my Scorpios this, you know, you guys take responsibility what you have been allowing in your life. A lot of you guys have a lot of ancestors, spirit guides around you who's been there with you, always trying to be that buzz in your ear to let you know and you guys stayed in that cycle. And it's not for you to me coming down on you guys and be like, you know, you should have, but it's just like, take, I mean, it's, it was, it's life. It's life. Take responsibility from it. Some of you guys have, have beautiful children that have come out of that situation or just beautiful um, growth. Like now you get it. Now you get your worth, your self-worth. Some of you guys need to quit entertaining energies around you still. Okay? Stop. I don't know who that is for, but stop. Okay? Some of you guys have been sexually frustrated, I'm hearing. So I hope y'all ain't entertaining or coming in physically in contact with someone who's not right. Okay? 
sea creatures. Okay, let's see what this one is. Go with the flow of things. Everything is working out as it should. Put your focus on your dreams. Take action. You will be doing what you love. Immerse yourself in all that truly makes your heart. Once again, Taurus says you guys need to get on your spiritual path with you're focusing on what you shouldn't have done from the past or you're focused on being upset put all that energy into what you need to be doing now okay that's how you come up out that energy um Taurus. is i just feel like a lot of just anger anger and regret and everything and it's no need for that everything is happening the way it needs to be it's happening for a reason Taurus. Is, okay you guys are just so a lot of you guys are very spiritual high spiritual men and women out here who's on a whole different path than um you were before and you got you guys mm, let's see here what's going on with my tauruses some of you guys are seeing some of you guys got rose cutter glasses on here there's a like there's fire around you there's a burning building around you but you're you're seeing beauty in front of you you're seeing you're not seeing shit clearly and I feel like a lot of this is coming from you guys putting the blame, blaming. And you're not seeing the whole purpose of why this is happening to you here. Okay, there's news coming in towards you here. And yes, some of you guys have somebody who smiles in your face that is around you who is not right here. Okay, but you guys are about to get the, your piece of pie here. A lot of luck and abundance. There is a soul tie coming in for you, um, Tauruses. It may be a Virgo that's coming in for you guys very soon, but this is not no tainted love. This is somebody who's grounded here. Somebody who really loves you. Okay, this person, this, and, you know, usually Virgo, if, I, if Virgo men usually do not rush in. Okay, unless they're just trying to have sex with you. But usually Virgo men are very, very picky about who they who they want to be with and everything. You, I don't know too many Virgo men who just, you know, get jump into a relationship um, without really getting to know that female. Out of all zodiac signs, a Virgo male energy is going to take their time. Because they want to make sure your ass is right. Because they ain't got time for the bullshit. Okay. I feel like a Virgo energy here, okay? A lot of endings is coming, but I feel like you guys are going to be playing with some fire with someone uh, or you're, you're playing around with some energy that you need to be paying attention to here, okay? There's some endings coming with someone who was, who was misusing you, who was manipulating you, okay? Because you are the high priestess. You are getting justice. You are bringing justice up on there. You're walking away. You are going to be free very soon. Free Freedom is coming towards you here. The blockages will be removed. All you guys got blockages up right now because you need to stay. You need to figure out and see what's been going on around you. Or you had blockages, but that shit is being removed. Okay? That shit is being removed. You're about to go on to a whole new journey in your life. You could not go on that journey until you got that lesson. Whether it's real relationship, family, or whatever. There was a lesson to be learned before you go on this new path in your life. Because that person or fuck boys or fuck girls or certain family members could not go with you. And you guys are probably trying to bring them with you. And your ancestors is like, no, no. They can't go. They're going to hold you back because they're not high vibrational. So what? there's something for you guys when it comes to your career. This new job. There's something real powerful you guys are supposed to be doing in your life. And the, the, you needed to go through a lesson before you can get it. Okay? Look at this. Look at this. You guys, this is a lodestone here. You guys are a man magnet for money. And it's not just the basic type of finances, y'all. This is for y'all new path that y'all are trying to go on here. Okay? Listen to your intuition. New beginnings coming in here. Watering your plants. Pay attention to your dreams here. Some of you guys are not seeing something that keeps coming out. You guys are not seeing something here. You got rose-colored glasses on here. 
okay? All right, Tauruses, that is your bonus for May. I really, really appreciate all the birthday um, donations, and I appreciate all the happy birthdays, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. I love them. <laughs> Again, you guys, if you like a personal reading or any information about my protection services or protection items, you guys can hit me up at evolvingwisdom5.com. Okay, where is my thing? Okay, you guys, this is Evolving Wisdom, and yes, I'm here. And I'm still evolving, Tauruses. Mwah.